so today I'm showing you guys how to well, how to work from the garage nice little area not too fancy so we're printing this design here this is a six color design show you guys how to do it from the beginning to the end the two wheel way so this one over here is the white highlight which is at the end I decided to use one white highlight because I didn't want to do two white bases to get the the white real white there's the black there's the red There's the gold. There's the real gold. And this is the white base. So what we're gonna do is white base first once. Or either we could probably do this one first. The real gold once. And then I do the white base. And then we'll do the um, the yellow gold right on there, and then we'll do the red and then either we'll do the white highlight or the black. Probably the black to cut all that stuff. And then the white highlight. But since uh, the, originally this one uh, had seven colors, so with the white highlight, I'm gonna just get a squeegee that'll go like this, and then right here, and then I'm gonna get a little squeegee to get this right here. I'm gonna try to flip that off uh, or make figure it out. Uh, hopefully it works. So that's our two wheel backward design. The homie on uh, swag helped them um, do this, the lettering, which is pretty tight. I like it. And then I did the rest of the design and separations. We'll see how it comes out. It's like full color. You know, right here at two wheel, we don't go we don't have steps so we had to do a six color instead of a three color let me clean up this camera so so you usually what I, what I do is um I try to see um what frames I'm gonna use so this white highlight um I would do I would use like I like using 160s a lot, so I'll probably use this on 160. For this black one, also I'll probably use 160 because there's no base, so 160 is nice. So sometimes when I do 110s, um, I get a pin, more pinholes on them. I don't know why. <laughs> the red, I'll probably do a 160 also. On the on this gold, I'll probably do a a 160 also. And then the white base. Either I, I probably do a 110 on this one. And then the real gold, I'll probably do a since it has a little bit of shimmer in it, I'll do like a 110. So these all be 110 and then the rest 160. Or actually on uh so I was gonna do a I was gonna do a gradient. I was gonna use the gold with a gradient so I could use so I, so I could um use this lemon gold. So this was a gradient originally on this on this gold, but I decided to uh, to do it differently to get like more no gradients at all on this design. So I wasn't actually save with a, a screen, but I decided to actually um, to do the white highlight so I could save a lot of um, white ink. So I only do one one. Um, one base instead of using a lot of 
instead of you using this this amount of white more compared to flashing flashing and printing this this white base twice which is a lot of ink and the ink that we use with that is white it's not really cheap so I think it's gonna come out a little softer and a smart move financially so let's do this so we, what we do first is we get a, the screens that we're gonna need and luckily these are um, these are black room but it's not really black in here so, so what I did uh, I put um, this cardboard so no light will come in really there's a little bit of light that's coming in but for the most part it's it's pretty dark I would probably even cover this, that little thing right there kind of want to have it real dark so what I'm, I'll probably do is add more tape on there because you can see and also like there's like little um, stuff there so what, what I do is usually I put some screens that I'm not using right here to block it out or I put an old shirt to block that out and I also have like a shirt to block it out here on the bottom from this door so yeah these, these are a uh, black room and then I, 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 um, I put in motion and then I put them here so we're gonna go ahead and align this thing so uh, a, lot, a lot of times what we like doing before uh, before I print them I, I, I pick out um, what screens I'm gonna use ahead of time as you can see these two screens right here they're, um, they're high mesh but they're for reverie tags so I already labeled them before I used them so and all these are other reverie spiritual design so it's like six colors so I have six screens they're all mostly high mesh except the base so this is the base and then the rest of these are yellow high mesh for the design so I already have the transparency so I'm gonna burn that one when I, when I, while I burn when I make the tags actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the tags and I'm gonna burn them all at the same time but since we're working on this design we're gonna uh, we're gonna label them and, and, and what I look for is um, like I said we're gonna use 160s so I have a bag that are 110s and 160s and then another bag that are um, that are high, much um, higher mesh so this one's a 160 so usually I put it right here on this side on the right hand side so this one's a 160 it says right here they're marked when I get them restretched they put the sizing on it so this is a 160 there's another 160 And there's another 160. So those are it right there. And then we have a um, we have a, a 110. I'm gonna put it back here. A 110. And then the other one was supposed to be also a, a base, and the base and the and the real gold is 110. So this one right here is also a 110. So these two are 110 and then 160s. So that's what we need right there. So what we're gonna do is mark them now. We're gonna mark them um, two ill woods. And then I'll, I'll put already um, this one since this this one's um, a two, one, 110. I know this is the um, the real gold so I put RG real gold I me mean, only know what it is so this one I'm gonna print it first so I'll put like a number one you could even do it another color so that's on the number one the first screen that's gonna go first and then this one 
is the white base so I'll put WB and this is a number 2 which is also a 110 the, the rest of these it doesn't really even matter but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure to label them and then I'll just go I'll be like alright red this is gold and then this uh, white highlight and what other color do we have we also had black black I just put B so so um, so right here uh, we have all the colors we got real gold as a uh, first then the second is the white base and then even now we're gonna pick out which one we want we want third so I think um the yellow gold will be nice as three so I'll put the three and circle it so three and then the other one will be like probably four thread and then either white highlight or base so I think um the black or actually let's do the white highlight so the black could cut even the um the the yellow the the little millimeter yellow so so we're gonna put a um, black glass so this is number five white highlight will be five and then six the black but also this I'm just estimating because sometimes I could be wrong I could probably f flip the gold after the or the red at the end or something or re the red before after the white depending you know so it the red and the white highlight could switch around because they're like kind of like touching each other so whatever looks good we're gonna keep that and there it is and the next thing I like to do is um put a line through the um the one I always align my stuff from right down the middle as you can see there's already registration marks but I think they're in, under the board so I can't really see them because it has a little bit of um, old garment um, fiber on there. So hopefully I can see through it. So now I have like a straight line. And there we go. And then I like getting the transparency. The first one we're going to use. And I always, always mark, always mark in the middle. So you can see. Always mark in the middle. Uh, well, I kind of did it like this because um, these micro registrations it didn't really fit right here. So I, I just want to make sure it's in the middle. So, and also what you want to make sure you want to know where the top is at. So I, I usually put the screen in so the top is right here. As you can see, I already, I already marked it. It says RG as real gold. So as as I remember, this is what the this is the first one we're gonna use. So I, I'll align the first one. What do you, you want to make sure it's it's um, aligned? It's aligned right at, right in the middle of the mark where you have it. it and go all, all the way across. Can't see it because of the light there, but it's in the middle. See. And then what I, what I like doing also I kind of I like marking it where the where where where, where that thing is at um so so since so this is straight I'm going to mark it right here you see I have a little x that's like right down the middle of that thing so I can so I can know where to put the other ones so we're gonna go ahead now. Is we're gonna uh, we're gonna get the um, screens and tape them. So now that we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and get some some of this clear tape and then put it just in the back of here. Some people like putting it just in the middle. Some people like putting three of them, but we're just gonna do it one. 
All right, so we got that, and then we're gonna get the 110 mesh. And then we get it, um, let me show you guys. We get it level. Le level it. So it can be straight. Level it where it grabs on real nice. And then you like tape it. Lift it off. And then you flip it. And then you tape off the other sides. Top and the bottom. And then you go ahead and do it for all the screens. As you guys can see, put them, I put them back in their um, in there. It's a good. I put them on these black bags so they cover up from the light. Cause I always have a light up here. I think I'm gonna change this one to yellow light. But uh, I like kind of like the light that we have here, cause you can see the actual colors. Cause this is where I keep my colors. So I might not change it. And also because of the light that comes in from here. And also, um, when, when you do it, um, you probably want to close the garage door. And only keep like minor light or yellow light. If you have one specialty um, for using, um, for exposing, exposing screen. Because you don't want to expose them before you even put them in the exposure unit. Alright, now we're, what we're going to do is... I'm going to start using the exposure unit to expose the screens. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And also before we uh, do some screens, we always want to make sure that um, that it's clean. That there's no like dirt or little spots on the machine or on the glass. So you won't, so you'll have like less pinholes or something you can't really clean. So things that what I do, I get a, I get a little rag or um, a little rag and some of that mineral spirits or water. And just clean it up, but right now it doesn't really look bad. It looks pretty clean. It doesn't give us any problem. And it like scratched it a little bit in some, some areas, but it doesn't expose that scratch. Every time you put screens on here, you want to make sure you lift them up off like real clean. Don't like pull the metal because it'll scratch the glass. And then when it gets scratched, you might um, grab a little dirt on it over time. So you don't want to have a nice scratch on it or it's going to give you problems when you expose. So what we do is... Um, we're gonna um, we're gonna burn them. So these 110 mesh, I expose them for a little longer. 
usually I expose all my screens, the, the, the high mesh, the 200 mesh and 230, 350 for like two and a half minutes, maybe two minutes if it's really high mesh so it could um, wash out easily. So with these, since these are 110, I'm gonna do it with my machine, I, I'm gonna do it for three minutes so I have like less pinholes. So let's do it for three minutes. So it's been three minutes. So so now I'm gonna show you the technique that I use since I, since I don't have an indoor washout booth where it's dark, I have to go outside. So since there's sun outside, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna um, wet it before I go outside so the sun doesn't expose it, uh, doesn't close up the exposure of the screen. So what we do first is. We close the garage since there's no so there's like the least light as possible and then we get some water any kind of water would do it could be faucet water whatever kind of water all right so so what we do next is we get these um the screens We take we take off the trans, uh, the transparency and you could you can already start seeing the image on there it's almost on there already and what we what we do is um we wet it put a little bit of water and then we just like move it around so it could wet every everywhere the front or the back. And then do it to the front. And then you let them chill there for like a minute or two at the at the longest. So you wet it. I, I kind of rub it a little bit so you get the water in there. So you start already uh, breaking down the emulsion. I put it everywhere where the where the whole image and the trans. Our registration marks are at and I just let it chill for like a minute or two and then I do, do this one too and and it doesn't really have to be all dark I mean you can have a yellow light it would be best or even a red light but uh, I have like a regular light I haven't even checked if it works but it doesn't it doesn't uh, mess up your screen you can still keep the exposure on there as long as it's not bright sunlight even a little bit of sunlight even like when it's like kind of like like the magic hour where it's like it's not real bright but you can still see some kind of light that's like my favorite time to go expose uh, or uh, wash out the exposure outside because there's still some kind of light but it's not uh, it's not uh, exposing the the motion or getting it um getting your exposure mixed up outside in the light so, so I did both sides nice and wet you can see the image on there and then we're gonna go outside we're gonna wash out from the back first and then the front but we're gonna wash out the first one the first one that we wet first so I'm gonna show you guys since, um, since I'm working from my garage, which maybe a lot of you are, um, this is gonna come in handy. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of us um, don't really have a washout booth, but we don't really need a washout booth.
so there we go we exposed a couple of screens and then also um, sometimes the emulsion uh, since it's wet it starts running down so a lot of times like um, when, you just leave, when you just leave it wet and let it dry, dry out like this uh, it, it might um, clog up your screen with like some invincible emulsion which you have to like pr uh, print a few of them till it opens up or, or open up by with some screen opener but to to for that not to happen I get a squeegee and I just I just swipe it off I, I swipe off all the um, all the water excess water that you don't need and believe it or not this actually helps out because you don't want to reclog whatever you open and you just let it air out it'll dry it'll take like maybe like 10 around 10 minutes for it to dry out depending on how, how hot it is outside or if you have a, a fan on it or so And you go ahead and do that to all your screens.